outer orange. Yo, what is up you guys? Work out of orange here today and I got some ramen and it's a little hot so I'm kind of just waiting for it to chill. But in the meantime, you know what we're not going to chill about? We're going to talk about these these lyrical reveals for Valesta, the, our gem girl. Our gem girl has finally been officially announced. Let's go ahead, look at her. So let's go. But anyway guys, we're here to discuss the gems. Uh, I, I officially have deemed myself to discuss the lyrical announcements just because I feel like it and I just think it's fun. But this is the beginning, like we got these announcements a couple days ago actually over the weekend and I think now we just got, or Friday, I don't know, we got it and then they kind of just got quiet and then we got more announcements. But to begin, just to kind of give you guys an understanding of how how this all works we got a couple of of these this is on different server by the way check that out as also as well as i'm currently looking at them but we got some announcements here with uh we got renetta when placed on rear guard circle choose up to two of your precious gem cars with the same name from your drop zone put one on the bottom of your deck and put the other into your soul so it's just a good way to push for some future gem movement here that we'll be seeing here very shortly we got a grade one two her name's Kat katina super 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 adorable that's really cute uh she's singing and everything but she's got when placed on rear guard circle costs so blast one discard a card choose oh discard one choose a pre precious gem card for your drops and return to hand so this kind of synergizes with our renata here so they kind of work off of each other you can throw it as a drop and then pick it back up very nice nice little gimmick there then we got this girl right here which everyone claimed to be as a little kind of like a zorga copycat this is uh felomina when placed auto on rear guard circle you can play one additional order this turn and so you can keep stacking this you can play an additional order for each time you use this ability so pretty much if you keep placing her you can just keep doing this so essentially you can stack your orders and play multiple orders in a single turn which will synergize with the gems that we'll be seeing here very shortly so down here we got the beginning of our little uh, willesta type of support so we got the starter absolutely beautiful art by the way i think this is awesome i love the starter it's very cute it's adorable and obviously it's very generic you know you go second uh if you draw a card and first you just draw and then you got a grade one here this is the proof of effort ballista when written on cost uh put a card from your hand to soul search your deck for a precious gem add to your hand and shuffle your deck when you uh and then auto rear guard when you play an order so blast until your turn she gets 5k so i really like the fact that they kind of do this whole soul blast stuff as you guys notice you can catch you can grab gems from your drop zone so you can soul blast your gems out and then you can grab them from drop zone so it's kind of just a nice little synergy and you'll notice that there isn't too much counter blasting going on so far so so far everything kind of relies on soul but luckily enough we'll kind of see some stuff here that will help uh fuel that soul as we as we keep going for a grade two this is the expanding world list another beautiful art as a big water lover and just world i just really like how you she's like up here you can see the, the water and the, the seagulls and obviously you know it's a whale so you're on the whale and uh it's just really cool i, I really like the way they did this art but it says once per turn when you play versus order you draw card so whenever if you were to play you just draw a card which is really good and useful i think uh, i think that's a really solid thing on guard circle for every two precious gems cards in your drop zones you get 5k shield so you can choose to actually play this outside of your ride line as well if you need the extra guard and make a 10k type of mechanic here as we all know in overdress 10k shields are really awkward even with fronts included it's sometimes it's still really awkward guard and this will definitely help with that awkward awkward situation that we got going on here and then we have our first gem this is a uh, true hearted ruby it's a normal order play this card with counter blast one you draw two cards discard a card and put this card into your soul so this fuels that engine they were talking about you can put her in you can put the gem in and so blast it out for other stuff and you know it's pretty good uh pretty good stuff it's very very pretty very very ruby <laughs> uh but yeah it's not too bad actually when i first saw this i liked this aspect of it as i'm more of like a defensive player and as a defensive player i like stuff like this where you can just kind of draw to do what you want to do and dig through your deck a little bit more we also got this grade one right here this is uh, uh ellie villa ellie villa says when you play play a sapphire everlasting sapphire if your figure is a grade three you just draw so if she's on your board and you play your sapphires you just straight draw off of this card which is just really awesome to see i think this is this will be a well a well a well well enough played card as it just lets you draw so ballista says act vanguard cost so blast one ruby so the ruby we saw earlier and so you have to turn this you get 15k and your opponent cannot intercept so you'll notice that we can so blast the ruby out and then use other cards to bring it back to hand and do it again if you want to and it's really nice because the they all they go into soul too so it kind of fuels that and then we also have our secondary skill which is act vanguard cost soul blast one sapphire look at top five cards of your deck choose up to unit cards from among them and call them to rear guard discard the remaining and turn the turn the, the, the called units get 5k so it's also just a nice little establishment of like uh using your rubies so one it lets you it lets you not use your hand as much as you can just rely on the gems to kind of do the work for you but on top of that in your top five if you have gems you can also just drop those and then use 
the cards that we saw earlier to get them back into your hand. So that's just another thing to kind of kind of keep the cycle going of this ruby cycle. And it's not too bad. I personally don't think this is like anything crazy. I because it, it, it doesn't multi attack or anything. It just has really high numbers. And I assume that there's going to be some kind of pressure coming from maybe the rear guards and, and maybe like a reveal or two. Maybe we'll see some kind of extra amplifying because so far its main gimmick is uh, being able to draw and gain power and kind of not use your hand and kind of utilize what what you get off your top five and like pretty much just cycling through your gems and drawing and pretty much just doing like that like you're just circling like like this and just that's all you're doing pretty much but the only thing i don't like about it is the fact that that's really all you're doing and that there isn't really much else you have like your three swings and then if you persona ride you have like three swings your opponent can't intercept which in my opinion could be like a good thing and a bad thing like some decks some decks just don't care like for example, Bastion doesn't care. Uh, it's not like a huge like you're 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 gonna you're gonna win the game just because your opponent could injure some type of thing. But it is nice to key to have just as an extra 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 shield that your opponent can't like put down to the board to like save themselves. But other than that, I think I think I think this this card's fun. I think this whole mechanic is fun. And there's a little bit more. We we did get this card right here, which is a uh, Attiller. Auto regard when you play a Ruby. If your Vanguard is a Grade Three Ballista until the end of the turn, she gets 10k power, and you can play an additional order this turn. You can play an additional or, or for each time you use this ability. So you can keep, you can play a ruby, and when you play a ruby, you can use the skill, and then you can do it again. So essentially, you can just keep doing this, which is pretty cool. Uh, another, and she gets 10k for it too, and it's it's an auto rearguard ability, which means, like I say, you can keep doing it. Uh, and I, I think this is just a nice, a nice way to just kind of push more for the gem engine and just kind of add more orders to, to go into play and all that stuff. I think this is the better version of the card we saw earlier that lets you play additional orders. Uh, so we have also Sapphire down here. It says Everlasting Sapphire. Choose one of your units. It gets 5k uh, at a turn and you put this into soul. So again, very nice. You literally just straight play it and then you put it into soul and then you get this, you get 5k and you put it into souls. So now you can then soul blast it out for its skills. Like, like for example, up here. So it's just a nice way to kind of just push through all that. And then if you, you know, stack this card with this card that lets you do multiple stuff, you can then, you know, activate a Ruby and, you know, just kind of keep that, keep that engine going. It's very, very very, very interesting stuff. So I, I like I like what I'm seeing. This card really reminds me. Uh, I, like it still just sounds strange, but it reminds me of like a card. Let me see if I can find it real quick. So this card actually reminds me of of uh, Girlish Idol Lyricware. I don't know if you guys remember this card. It came out in Twinkle Melody, but this card kind of works with orders and it works with the it works with the lyrical veil. Uh, really well, and that's kind of what this whole engine reminds me of is lyrical veil, like lyric queer type of aspect of like constantly calling out rear guards and having power and forcing your opponent to intercept so that way they then don't have intercepts. So that, that makes sense, but that it's kind of the engine that this reminds me of. And, and notice that it, we got like kind of like the perfume gem type of thing going too, so it has like that similar feel. And I wonder if they kind of use this card to kind of get the get the gems kind of rolling too with that. So pretty cool stuff. I honestly wasn't too excited for the gems, but I like it now. I won't say it's it's my my favorite deck to play but i'll definitely be i'll definitely be trying it out and seeing kind of how it engines i think once i see it like in a, in a full picture i'll really enjoy it but i have a feeling it's gonna remind me of this and i actually really like this deck and i'm kind of sad that this deck just doesn't really exist and sadly it's too peaceful line hopefully the gems will not feel that way either and hopefully they'll really spice things up and add just more fun and flavor to the meta overall but yeah so that's my little my little discussion my little gem discussion of the day uh i really don't have much else to say i just kind of want to break down kind of how the skills work for you guys in case it's it's just a little bit let, let, a little, it makes a little more sense now to you guys if you're you know into that kind of stuff uh i will probably talk about the dragons as well i really like where lyrical is going and i kind of want the, to get the knowledge out to other people so they could also try lyrical and just see how fun it is and how exciting it's, i feel like it's going to be and very just enjoyable enjoyable i feel like it's going to be a very enjoyable nation as well with the other five nations but yeah guys anyway so i'm going to head out i'm going to go finally my ramen hopefully it's cooled off now and to give you guys a wonderful thank you for all the support and love and i'll see you guys in the future video of some kind or whatever it is that I'm doing. Other than that, peace out, guys, and das Vidania, and see you guys next time. Bye!